Hi, I'm Han. I'm a communication student at the University of Technology, Sydney, and I'm currently coming to the end of my internship here at the Sydney Morning Herald. It's not what I expected. I was expecting a lot of chaos when it comes to breaking news with like editors and journos running around throwing papers in the air like in the movies, but it's not like that. It's actually really calm. In the beginning, it was quite intimidating just walking into the newsroom. All the journos that you aspire to be are just sitting there typing away and it was kind of awkward coming up to them and asking them questions, like really silly questions on how to use a printer and stuff like that. But as the time went on, it kind of got easier and you kind of realise that they actually want to help you because they've all been in the same situation that you have. We're really friendly. We're here to yeah, help. Yeah, they, they, they are really friendly. <laughs> this, is, this is the future of journalism, so we try and point them in the right direction. Yeah? <laughs> and she's, she's been doing very well. Oh, thank you too. <laughs> there are a few great moments that I experienced, but my most favourite experience would be um, being present at the Prime Minister Malcolm Turnbull's reshuffle announcement. I aspire to be a political journalist, so being present in that room and watching all the journalists fight to get a question in, that was brilliant. I also really enjoyed working on the online and breaking news desk. You're literally put on the spot. Sometimes you'll get told to get a story up within half an hour. So you have to call the police media, even the health department, and you have to make sure your facts are straight. It was tough, but it was great to realise how I could actually work under the pressure. I found the whole internship pretty challenging. You have to be constantly thinking about stories and ideas to pitch to the editor. You have to be ready to make cold calls and call people that you weren't expecting to call and talk about situations that you weren't ready to talk about. You learn to focus. In the beginning, I was juggling two to three stories and I found it really overwhelming to get them done during the deadline. But then I realized that it's better to get one good story compared to having three standard stories. always carry chasing bad issues. So I like to wear heels wherever I go, but then I realized that you can't actually chase people out of court wearing heels because you're most likely to fall. I also learned to carry a scarf wherever you go because you get thrown into unexpected situations where I went to a mosque and I realized that you actually need to cover up and respect other people's cultures and religions. It's a tough gig. You're way out of your comfort zone. You're put into situations where you didn't think that you were gonna be in. It's exhausting, it's overwhelming, but at the end of the day, when you look at your byline and realize that you wrote that story and how much work you put into it, it's a pretty good feeling.